Welcome to Misfit Strength and Balance. This is your lower body workout. Your lower body acts as the base of your support as you walk, run, and jump. Regular lower body exercises increases bone strength, improves balance, and decreases injury to your knees and hips. It would allow you to quickly change direction and speed as needed. So if you're already warmed up, let's get right to it. Welcome to lower body. The purpose for doing this video series for strength and balance is that so we can live independently for as long as humanly possible. When I'm with my clients, I often ask them to go ahead and stand up. And I will notice that they are using their upper body to get themselves all the way up, all upper body. So then I'll have them cross their hands and get up on their own. And suddenly they realize that they have no quadricep or thigh muscles whatsoever. So that's what we're gonna work on today. Sandy will be doing my modified move. So at any time, if the squats are just too much for you, you can stand up and just do a, a small squat. Make sure those legs are in a 90 de degree angle. You're gonna step through the heels of your foot, not using your upper body. You're gonna come all the way up into a standing position and squeeze those glutes, okay? When you come down, I just want you to kiss that chair and come all the way back up again. And we're gonna do that 10 times. If that's too much, you just work yourself up to that. So Maddie, why don't you stand up? Sandy's gonna go ahead and use the chair for assistance. And here we go for 10. Very good. You can do these every day, just these squats. Do them during your commercials. Just try to work them in. One more, we got this. Excellent, shake out those legs, I know that was hard. Go ahead and take a seat. We'll be finishing this lower body exercise from our seated position at this point. Go ahead and grab your band. You're gonna go ahead and step on it. Take those handles and cross them in front, holding onto those handles. You're just gonna rest them right on your lap, just like that. Starting with your left knee, you're gonna lift up and step out, lift up, step back in, and we're gonna alternate using your right knee now, and let's begin together. Lift up and step out and in, out and in, excellent. We're working our outside muscle. These are called your IT band. It connects your knee to your hip. A very difficult muscle to reach. And that's what we're doing now. Three, two, one more, one and one. Excellent, go ahead and release. Let's just shake those legs out just a bit. Take that band and place it under your right foot. You don't have to even wrap it, right? Just completely place it under the, the middle of your foot. You're gonna scoot up all the way to the edge of your seat. You're gonna grab that band nice and low. So this is how you know it's not gonna fall off. You're gonna lean all the way back, resting on that chair, the back chair. Tap that heel to the ground and then shoot it all the way up to the sky. Just allow that band to do most of the movement for you. When have you ever kicked this high before? Two more. Last one, beautiful. Go ahead and bend that knee, keep the foot flexed. You're gonna stomp on the brake, squeezing your quadricep muscle, your thigh muscle, okay? Bring that knee in and step on the brake. Breathe in at the top, out at the bottom. Give me one more. Beautiful, go ahead and put that down and let's switch feet. Get it nice and centered on your left foot. You're gonna grab that band nice and low, lean all the way back into your chair, tap that heel to the floor and then fire it all the way up. Should feel really good, it's like a good stretch. Excellent, three, two, 
and one. Great. Keep that foot flex. Bend that knee into your chest. Stomp on that brake. Don't forget to squeeze that quadricep muscle, your thigh muscle. Good. Two more. And release. Very good. Go ahead and release that band. Take your band and put it over your knees. This is called a leg press. Now again, I like to use multiple muscles as much as possible for that calorie burn. So Sandy will just be doing the modified move of just lifting up that knee and pushing it down, okay? Maddie and I are gonna add our abdominals involved in this. We're gonna crunch forward, crunch forward as we come. So think of having your chest to your knee, okay? Starting with that right knee, let's go ahead and, and lift and resist. Lift and resist. Push that knee right back down where it belongs. <sighs> Give me two more each side. One more. And release, excellent. All right, take that band. We're gonna place it over our knees. This time we're gonna wrap up that those legs, wrap up those knees together. Make sure those shoes are touching. You're nice and tall with your back. You're gonna open up the knees and release. Open and release. Give me four more. Three, two, and one. Excellent, go ahead and shake that out. We no longer need these bands, so go ahead and place that next to you. We have our knees about shoulder width apart, and we're just gonna start with a nice tap on that right foot. Try to give me a quick tap. And stop, let's do the other side. Left foot, give me a quick tap. And stop, other side. Stop, other side. Stop, one more time. And stop, other side. Three, two, one, excellent. Bring those toes, heels, toes, heels together all the way out and all the way in. You feel your calves working. It's easy at first, and then you're gonna start to feel that burn. Excellent, keep it up. One more time. All the way back in, and stop. Go ahead and Put those toes to the ground and then pull them back. Toes down, toes up. Toes down, toes up. You can feel that, hear that snap, crackle, pop in my legs. Work out those creaks. Same movement, we're just gonna do opposite feet. So one up, one down. You're in charge. Tell your brain to do it. Three, two, and one. Let's just jog that out. Very good. With your right knee, we're gonna lift for six. Here we go. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Other side, six, five, four, three, two, Excellent, with that right leg, go ahead and extend. Squeeze that thigh for five, four, three, two, one. Tap and release. Five, four, three, two, one. Tap and release. Five, four, three, two, one. Tap and release. Five, four, three, two, one. One more time. Five, four, three, two, one. Release, jog it out. Let's do the other side. Extend that leg, squeeze the quadricep. Three, two, one, release and tap. Five, four, three, two, one, release and tap. Three more. Three, two, one, 
release. Two more, five, four, three, two, one. One more, five, four, three, two, one. Release, go ahead and shake that out, very good. Go ahead and push yourself all the way back and let's stretch out those legs we just worked. Bring in that right knee to your chest. Draw those circles with your toes, rotate right and left, point and flex. Now if you can get that heel, excuse me, that ankle up onto that knee. Some of you might have trouble doing this and if you start out at your ankles and work your way up, you can do that like Sandy. We're nice and tall, we're hinging forward and just taking that stretch. As soon as you feel it, you're gonna feel it pretty quick. Okay, I want you to hold it and relax. Again, just imagine that muscle melting away. That's a tough place to stretch. It feels so good, hurts so good as I say. And release, go ahead and put that down, very good. Let's go ahead and bring in that other knee. Rotate that foot. Make circles right and left, point and flex. If you can get that ankle up onto the knee, you're nice and tall, hinging forward. Right when you feel that stretch, I want you to hold Breathe, relax, and release. Very good, we are done with lower body, good job.